सबको जागृति दो सबको जागृति दो सबको जागृति दो सबको जागृति दो ऑन दिस ऑस्पिशियस ओकेजन ऑफ द गोल्डन जुबली ईयर ऑफ सहज योग वर्ल्ड वाइड The Immaculate Ideal Human Foundation, a non-profit NGO, introduces you to its maiden film venture, Grihalakshmi: The Awakening, based on the teachings of Her Holiness Sri Mataji Nirmala Devi. The film is based on the awakening of the Kundalini, a process by which a human being can attain a state called self-realization that transforms one to become a beautiful person. and one's life is thereafter filled with the joy of living this film was conceived as a dream project of shri mataji with a message to reach out to the whole world in the shortest possible time using the medium of cinema through the ether element we made this film for the big screen and released it in april 2019 with a grand opening by shri mataji's grace The movie was shown in over 51 cities with over 140 screenings across India so far. More than 42,000 people have watched the film and half of them were new seekers. Experience of self-realization was given after the movie in the cinema theaters by experienced practitioners of Sahaja Yoga. It gives us immense pleasure to have you all watching the film and join our Sahaj Yoga family in large numbers. The film won a special mention award at the 7th Indian Cine Film Festival 2019. As we enter into 2020, the golden jubilee year of Shri Mataji Nirmala Devi's Sahaj Yoga, the Immaculate Ideal Human Foundation pays homage to her. by presenting this film for small screens including television internet and the online channels to reach out to larger audiences you can also show it to people whom you love and care for and help them take this experience of joy and happiness please do not get up at the end of the film as there is a short video of shri mataji giving you self realization sitting in the comfort of the cinema theater which only very few rishi munis experienced after many years of penance in the himalayas our foundation appeals to you if you like the film and our efforts please support us by visiting our website iihf.in through your generous contributions such that we continue doing this noble work of making new films this immaculate work of the divine is the need of the hour we are already working on our next project and your support will help us provide you a better cinema option together let's try to bring this change for the betterment of our society our country and then the whole world at large we hope you will enjoy this film as much as we have enjoyed making it सबको जागृति दो सबको जागृति दो सबको जागृति दो सबको जागृति दो जागो 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 my two little girls hiding auntie oh wow. auntie look at my two auntie. little beauties how are you oh auntie. both of you are looking so pretty may god cast away all evil eyes you're so sweet and i'm very upset with you why, why are you staying in a hotel this is not done oh my dear hmm? this is how london has shaped me up people there are really very formal <laughs> but you tell me something how come both of you have changed so much hmm. the style 
the simplicity the charisma i'll get something for you there's no need for that you come here sit and you too and now tell me what's the secret i just can't believe my eyes the last time i was here you both just kept fighting all the time oh god how did all that turn into love and when and my girls back in london i wonder what has happened to them they fight over every little thing i don't know what to do they just don't respect us anymore and if we discuss marriage they just throw tantrums only god can save them now Don't worry auntie they too will be getting married soon and whatever we have done if they to do the same then they themselves won't believe how quickly their lives turn around <laughs> did you find a magical spell <laughs> oh yes auntie we have really found a magical spell oh really so tell me what is it we'll tell you all that later let's go no hope. there's still time for that my dear i can't wait i want to hear it now she won't spare us easily mm-hmm. i think we have to tell her now <laughs> where do we start um, the time when we used to fight <laughs> <laughs> aunty you know how we didn't get along at all right and our family was a mess <laughs> oh oh newspaper man hey listen How many times have I asked you not to throw the paper like this? Every day I repeat the same thing, idiots. I just don't know how to make these people understand. Hey, why are you shouting so early in the morning? Send Sheetal fast. I'm getting late. These girls also don't listen to me either. Sheetal, Samira, get up now. Sheetal, Samira, dad is waiting for you. Oh God! Where the hell I've been born? Every day my morning starts with this yelling, and it's Samira, not Samira. Since twenty-four years, I've been called by a wrong name. Huh? Oh God! I am so late today. Why are you grumbling first thing in the morning? You just go and do your stupid drawings. That's called interior designing. At least I'm not wasting my time with an MBA. Oh hello. You are going to regret saying that when I'll get married to a rich and handsome guy. Not going to cry like you in a middle class family. <laughs> Then why are you studying? Wasting 12 lakh rupees. Huh. Hey Sheetal, hurry up. It's getting late. Sheetal, papa is waiting for you dear. Those are mine. Take them off. What if I don't? Last week you wore my dress. Did I say anything? Fine, wear them. But first get a cup of tea for me. Go. Why should I do that? Am I a servant? <laughs> you look like one. Ha ha ha. Look who's talking. You only don't have manners. I don't understand why our parents are looking for a match for you. If this is your attitude, not nobody is going to marry. You. And where is your decency gone? Need a tight slap on your face? Stop shouting you two. Mom, ask her to talk to me properly. Mom, you also know who talks properly. Can't do her own stuff. Stop it. Enjoy all this till you live with your parents. When you'll have your own house and you have to work, then you'll miss it. <laughs> For that you must know how to work. Sheetal, mind yourself, okay? Otherwise, I'm going to bash you. Samira and Sheetal, your father is waiting outside. Hurry up, and you. Sheetal, dear, hurry up. Bye, mom. Get up quickly. Coming you are going to take an hour for exercise now. So sorry, What Dad. is this, dear? Samira keeps fighting with me all the time. It's already late. There's so much of traffic. I always get stuck here. That's because there's a big Sahaj Meditation Center over here. Dad, that's my friend Mugdha. Can we stop for a second? Okay. Give me a minute. Mukda, hi. I 
Are you going to college? Yes. Come. Hi, uncle. Hello, dear. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, Mumta, tell me one thing. Hmm? This place is always crowded. And what yes. were you doing here? Sheetal, I come here for meditation. What? Dear, this is a meditation center to get rid of all your mental stress. Really? I always thought if you do good, be good, God will do the rest. Dear, there are many things beyond human understanding. Maybe this is where people come for solutions. But dad, we can't just follow someone blindly, right? What do these Baba do? They always play with our beliefs, take advantage of our simplicity and basically cheat us. Sheetal, what you're saying is absolutely right. But where there are thugs, there are also enlightened souls who show us the path of truth. It is only after self-realization that we can say who is a thug, who is a true spiritual master, what's true and what's not. You know? <laughs> Mukta, you're a science student. How can you fall for all these cons? Sheetal, because I'm a science student, that's why I know such things and believe in them too. You must come with me for meditation. Then when you will realize it for yourself, you will know the truth and believe it too. I'm damn sure. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's see then. Dad, please drive faster. I'll be late because of you today. Okay. Yes, Mr. Wilson. I'll be in London by tomorrow morning, so I'll ask my secretary to set up a meeting post-lunch. That's fine. Just email me everything and I'll check it on the flight. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Please send Mrs. Kapoor inside and ask Mr. Seth to get me all the documents that need to be signed. Then I'll leave for the airport. Hi, Mom. Hi, Arvind. Okay, Mom, listen, please don't be upset, but I have to go to London on a short notice. Oh, no. Arvind, I've just returned from US-Canada trip this morning. And now, you want to leave? Yeah. This one. I know, but what can I do? Sorry, mom. And uh, I also have to go to America and Canada after. For the PM's business meeting. Oh, that steel magnet Mr. Gupta's daughter will also be there in that meeting, right? <laughs> You've been thinking about her. But of course. I'm the one who's got to look for a girl for you. You won't do anything. Yeah, so even granddad found you for my dad. You have to do something similar. I understand you well. You work on the easy stuff and I always have to do all the hard work around here. But don't you worry. I'm your mother after all. I'll get the best for you. Yeah, I guess I'll get what's in my destiny. Okay, mom, I have to go now. I'll call you later at night, okay? And please don't forget to take your medicines. Okay. Bye. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Mr. Seth, do you believe in destiny? Sir, I believe in the all-pervading power that can change a man's destiny. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Yeah, please call my car to the porch. Yeah, thank you. You cannot know the meaning of life unless you are connected to the power that created you. कुंडलिनी मां करो 
सबे कृपा I have to say that truth is what it is. You cannot change it. You cannot transform it. So what is the truth? The truth is you are not this body, this mind. These emotions. But you are the pure spirit. But it cannot take you beyond the mind. I am talking about the realm which exists beyond your mind which you have created. This realm of divine love is everywhere. It permeates into everything. It's a happening where there's a breakthrough in your ascent in the evolutionary process. You have reached the human level of human awareness, but you have to go beyond it. And that is what is there within you, the great power of Kundalini. Muladhar me tum bhaiji ho ma, sadiyo se tum sui hui. Muladhar me tum बैठी हो माँ सदियों से तुम सोई हुई इच्छा हुई पाले तुझको इच्छा हुई पाले तुझ मुग्धा आई कैन एक्सप्रेस हाउ गुड आई एम फीलिंग राइट नाउ इट्स एज इफ ऑल माय टेंशन हैव जस्ट वैनिश वेल दैट वाज बाउंड टू हैपन जागो कुंडलिनी माँ करो सबे कृपा आम फीलिंग सो गुड टूडे एब्सोल्यूटली फ्रेश वील गो अगेन राइट या I felt really good. One actually feels really good after visiting. Hmm. There's a sense of belonging. Hmm. Dad? Yes, Dad. What? What happened, Dad? But Okay, fine. Yes, yes. Can you please take us to Metro Hospital? Tell me no what happened? Mom is in the hospital. What? I don't know what's happening. Calm down, Sheetal. Please Everything hurry will up. Everything will be alright. Auntie will be fine. Don't worry. They're not telling me what's happening. Relax. Everything will be okay. Oh, please stop here. Sheetal, you go. I'll pay and come. Mrs. Yes. Nath. Second floor. Sheetal. Uncle, how's mummy? Everything's fine dear. It was a mild attack but the specialist has said that nothing to worry about. I suggest you don't be in the ICU for long, okay? Thank God your father got here in time. Otherwise anything could have happened. So don't worry child. Be brave, huh? Everything is under control, okay? Let's go. Come sweetie. Dad. Sister. One minute. Sit down. Thank God sweetie that you told me not to pick you up from the college. and i reached home just in time otherwise i don't know what might have happened it's okay city come down i tried calling samira but her phone is switched off I suggest huh? you take some rest now. I'm here. Sheetal, you should go home now. I No, dad. I'm not leaving. Her. No, my child. You cannot stay here. Please go home. Sheetal, you can't stay here. Come on, let's go. Go, sweetie. Here, take it. Don't worry. Go.
Don't worry, Sheetal. Everything will be all right. There's nothing to worry about. Sheetal, how is auntie? Mukda, thank God we went to the center today. Because of which my father reached home early. He could take mom to the hospital in time. Otherwise, I don't know what... Don't worry, dear. Everything will be all right. Divine power is working. Come on, dear. Both of you now go home. I'll take care of everything. You are a brave mm. girl, okay? Go. Listen, hmm? you take some rest now. Okay, you look after her. Don't I'll look me. for Samaira. Auto. Sheetal, you take this auto and go home. I'll take another auto. Hmm. And don't worry at all, okay? Now you go. Yeah. Divine Par will take care. Yeah. Please take care of yourself, Sheetal. Do not worry, okay? Bye. Let's go. Samaira? Samaira? Samaira, mm-hmm. wake up. Uh, uh, tea. Mm. Samaira, you didn't answer our calls last night. Mm. Dad called you. I called you so many times. Where were you? Uh, Do you know that mom is hospitalized? She had a heart attack. Huh? We all needed you, but where were you? What? The doctor said that there's ninety percent blockage. Why, why didn't you wake me up earlier? We were calling you since last night. Come, why are you sitting here? Let's Where go to the are hospital. you going right now? Are you? We can't leave like this. You go, go get ready first, and I'm waiting here. Okay. Mr. Nath, her recovery has been remarkable. Mm. Patients of her age don't recover so fast. In five, six days alone, such improvement. I'm surprised. It is all because of your hard work and God's grace and her good fortune. No, no, I'm absolutely 
fine now. I'll be discharged soon. No, there is no reason for you to come from London. I'm not going to die so soon. Why are you talking like this? You have two daughters to take care of. That's true. Honestly, Sheetal's the only one who has taken care of me for so long. And Samira, have you thought about her marriage? Not now. She's got to complete her MBA first. Once she completes her MBA, then we will think what to do. And what about you? How are Pinky and Pony? Well, now what do I tell you? Pinky dropped her studies midway and started working as a waitress in some restaurant. And Pony, I have no clue of what she's doing. I wish we wouldn't have left India. At least the girls would have had some values. Trust me, just get them married and everything will be fine. It's not possible, you know how these kids are. They don't listen to us at all. They always do what they want to do. They are completely out of our hands now. They won't agree to move back to India. And finding a good boy here is almost impossible. And even if we find one, they reject him. So what can I do? Anyway, things will be okay. Everything works out in the end. Okay, Divya, let me hang up now. I'm going to take rest. Okay? Bye. So, Ravi, should I sign here? Hello, Mrs. Singhania. Hi. How are you? I'm sorry, Mrs. Singhania. This room has been contaminated. We will have to shift you to another room for a few hours because we have to sterilize this room. Ma'am, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Please cooperate with us. Sister, please have a shifted to room number 305. Come, doctor. Come. This side. Easy, easy. How are you doing? Who is she? Just a patient. Hey, Namaste you are here. here. <laughs> Sheeta, how are you? How are you, mom? I'm feeling good. See, your favorite Samira doesn't show up today again. Where is she gone today? Mom, when I was coming here, she was asleep. And I made some poha, but first you have some prasad. Oh, my girl has taken care of all the things. Nowadays, even your prasad is so amazing. Who is she? Just another patient. Can I give her some prasad? Hmm. I'll be back. Hello, auntie. Hi. Here, take some prasad. Prasad? Yes, auntie. Oh, it's tasty. Thank you, auntie. Thank you. I've made some poha also. I'll get that too. Please have some. No, no thanks. Try it, ma'am. It's so tasty. Yes, auntie. I'll get some for you. Okay, Sheetal, you stay here. I'll go and take a round and come back. Here, ma'am. This is tasty too. Is this your own recipe? Yes, auntie. What to say, ma'am? Ever since I got admitted to the hospital, she has suddenly grown up so much. It feels as if she has been running the house for ages now. I've got power and responsibility in my hands, mom. And the reason is meditation. Hi, mom. Hi, Sheetal. Hi. Hi, auntie. Hi. She is my elder daughter, Samira. Hmm. Samira. Come on, mom. Stop spoiling my name. She is doing MBA. And why was your phone switched off yesterday? Uh, as usual, battery was low. You see. By the way, mom. Ever since you have been hospitalized, <laughs> I haven't eaten properly at all. But why? I left you some parathas on the table. No way. Those parathas have made me fat. Look at me. There was poha too. I don't like poha. Okay, mom. I'm getting late for college. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye, dear. Bye. Bye. Bye, auntie. Bye. I couldn't do my exercise today because I had to be here. Do you do your exercise every day? Yes, auntie. You need to keep yourself fit, right? That's true. Yeah. Mrs. Singhania, your private suite is ready. 
we are going to shift you there very soon and i'm really sorry for the delay thank you for your cooperation oh okay Sister, doctor please get her shifted mrs nath it was lovely meeting you and both your beautiful daughters have been great company for me and uh, please tell them that they must come and meet me in my new room yes, every sure. day yes sure definitely okay see you take care you too bye madam as you had ordered neither arvin sir nor the media got wind of this that is the advantage of a low profile mm. hospital everything is normal very good all your reports are good but they might keep you under observation for a couple of days uh yes that's it auntie your room is actually quite big and i've got something for you here take it and have you made this yes auntie wow Sheetal, can I ask you something? Yes, Auntie. You know that day you were talking about meditation. Mm hmm. I also chant mantras and meditate too. Mm -hmm. So, what's so special about this meditation of yours? Um, actually, Auntie, I don't think I can explain that accurately. But I have a video. I can show you that, and then you'll clearly understand what that is. I'll just get it. Okay. Just one minute. It's called as Kundalini because it is coiled in three and a half coils. It is resting in the triangular bone called as sacrum. That shows that the Greeks knew that it was a sacred bone. Now this is the energy that has to be awakened, and when it is awakened, it rises through six very subtle energy centers and pierces through the frontal bone area. And then you feel as if a cool breeze is coming out of your frontal bone. Area. But this is just like a connection with the mains, as we have for every instrument. with this happening you become a self realized person in the sense that you develop a new dimension in your awareness in your central nervous system samajao ma majjame abhi sabhi chakra tum niranjit does this uh, really happen yes. ganesha swayam puje tujhko गणेश स्वयं पूजे तुझको शरण में तेरी दिस इज रियली फैंटास्टिक दिस मेडिटेशन हैज बीन रियली गुड फॉर मी द टेंशंस वी अक्यूमुलेट इन आवर डेली लाइफ्स ऑल ऑफ दैट इज टेकन अवे फ्रॉम आवर माइंड्स टुडे माय आइडेंटिटी द पर्सन आई एम व्हाट एवर माय डेस्टिनी हैज गिवन मी आई एम हैप्पी विद इट satisfied with it aunty getting over my problems the joy of spreading happiness in the world that i could never experience before i can feel it now and and now i have a new motivating factor the colors of this world the beauty of this world feelings that i could never knew existed i can relish them now all the problems of my life all the difficulties the pains the miseries i get through them easily now I find solution to all the problems in my life through this meditation. And that is the ultimate objective of life, isn't it? You know, I think you cannot know the meaning of life unless you're connected to the power that created you. You are doing well, Mrs. Singhania. We'll discharge you soon. Oh, good. Thank yeah? you. Yeah, okay. Yeah, doctor please come. Please ensure her BP is maintained. Come. Hi auntie. Hello. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm good. Come. Your room is so good. It's you like beautiful. It? Come and sit. Come. Okay. Uh two teas please. How 
have it thank you thank you You know I also started smoking when I was your age. Oh god, you noticed? <laughs> Alcohol also. Yeah. In fact, wine is still my favorite drink. Really? Hmm. Wow. And you like to party, I know. I love to party. Yes. I also used to party a lot. I never had any time for my family. I used to only hang out with my friends. Yeah. I was just like you, carefree, always chilling. Yeah. Really, it's crazy. Hello, brother-in-law. Uh-huh. How are you? Hi, brother. Hi, Purnima. Come, Hi, come, Athul. It's nice to see you. Oh. How are you? <laughs> fine, fine. Where are the girls? How are you? I'm doing good. You? <laughs> good. Come, come. Have a seat. So, how's life? Come, good, sit. Good, good. Thank you. Oh, having breakfast. <laughs> yes, yes. Please join. Didi, where are the girls? Sheetal is at the meditation center, and Samira, she is sitting alone in her room with face back on her face and is grieving for her failure in MBA. Kids these days. They apply a face pack for anything that happens. Oh, brother-in-law, you know how kids are. Listen, sister, you'll have to change his entire lifestyle now. <laughs> this crockery, these curtains, you'll have to change your living like rich people, isn't it, Purnima? Absolutely. <laughs> And why would we do that, sister? I've got some really good news for you. What are you trying to switch into, sister? Let me tell you, my niece Samira is a very lucky girl. Chintu, now tell us, no, what is it? I found a boy for Samira. Brother, you should start with the preparations. A boy? But who is the boy? Where is he from? What is the family like? He's the kind of boy Samira has always dreamt of. Now stop joking. Does he own a private jet plane or something big? Well, it is something similar only. Do you remember Mrs. Singhania, Gayatri Singhania? Dad, Gayatri Singhania, whom I met at the hospital. Yes, exactly. Her only son, Arvind Singhania. He's worth five thousand crore rupees. Mm -hmm. Brother Samira will have as many jet planes as she wants. Oh my! Those people are so rich. Are you telling the truth, sister? Samira is like my daughter. Why will I joke about her, sister? I'll give the news to Samira myself. <laughs> And yes, keep our expensive Kanjivaram sari ready. Yes, yes, you'll get your sari too. But first, take some sweets. <laughs> Come on, let's Thank have some you. sweets. Thank you. You do have some. Thank you sister thank you But I don't want to get married aunty at least meet the boy once I am supposed to get married or you obviously you are We've found a good boy for you and the marriage is almost finalized Finalized look Samira there aren't many good guys left The rich guys are usually very spoiled Somehow we found a good guy and we can't let him go You meeting him is just a formality Formality, Auntie. I'm not going to get married without seeing the boy. Oh dear, you're getting to meet him, no? <sighs> If you don't want to, don't. As it is, he doesn't earn much. Just five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand crore. Five thousand crore. Yes, you heard me right. Five thousand crore. Aunty, you are not joking with me, right? Wow, he's so handsome. Show me, please. Uh, but you don't want to get married, right? He's so handsome, Aunty. 
and he's so rich. But if you don't like him, we'll say no. Not to him. at all, Auntie. I like this guy very much. I have no idea what Mrs. Singhania liked about you. Ever since what? she's come back from the hospital, you're all she talks about. Is he Gayatri Singhania, Auntie's son? Yes, dear. Oh, I can't believe this. Thank you so much, Auntie. Thank you so much. I'm so happy. I'm so, so happy. So should we say no to him? At least wash your face. <laughs> You. you look so pretty. Thanks. <laughs> They are coming on twenty second. And mind it, you're gonna get me ready, okay? Um. <laughs> la, 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 la. You look so happy. <laughs> um, listen. Hmm? On the twenty second, I have a meditation seminar. I'm in the organizing team. It's important. I can't ditch. What nonsense! This meditation and all is bullshit. You gain nothing out of it. It's just waste of time. And they treat you like a servant over there. Give some attention to yourself. God also takes care of those who take care of themselves. Look at me. How fit I am. How beautiful I am. That's why I have a proposal from such a rich family. Learn something from me and get out of this meditation. Samaira I am doing this meditation for my own transformation. I really need this. Please try to understand. I don't want to hear anything. Now you decide. Either meditation or me. Oh. Why are you talking like this? I I'll ask Mukda to come and return before they arrive, okay? I love you, right? I love you. Please don't be angry. Hmm. I love you too. Huh? Hey, look at this. So many friends have already congratulated me on social media. Wow, Samaira. <laughs> uh, who is this? Oh, that guy from Chandigarh. You're still talking to him? Yes. Why not? You're impossible. <laughs> who are these strange people? Comment, comment. Let's see. <laughs> She's my sister-in-law and Namaste. she's my daughter's friend Mukda. Namaste auntie. Please, please come. Welcome. Have a seat. Only if it's urgent. Please have some tea before going. Oh, they're just servants. Is it? Please have a seat, ma'am. <laughs> please. Thank you. I'll get some snacks, okay? Okay. Come Mukda. Okay, auntie. Ma'am, we could never imagine that God would be so kind to us. We hadn't even dreamt of such a good family for our daughter to. Uh... <laughs> Ma'am, uh, 
now you must be feeling much better than before oh it's going to be even better now yes please get it dear please have thank auntie. you i'm very sorry but please excuse me for a minute yeah sure sir please have uncle please have please thank you please have some thank you dear just one you do have some no no thank you yes thank you mrs singhania we have taught our children good cultures and values only they know nothing about the ways of affluent families mr nath that's why we are here but where is she i'll go and get her yes get her arvind here was going to london from canada when i told him better come back for a while and i came running how nice of you <laughs> here she comes hi aunty how are you lovely I'm good thank you this is arvind my son hi. hi whenever i look at her i remember my youth she looks just like me carefree but you know when arvind's father passed away then you know i realized i had a lot of regret that i could not be a good companion to him so that's when i decided that i want a simple girl who will be a companion for my son arvind but where is she for who my son has come all the way from canada what's happened and where is she ma'am uh, she is sitting right next to you Dr Mathur what's this i'm hearing i never asked for samira's hand in marriage uh, uh. uh what's the confusion here i hope you haven't misunderstood uh, me what is this mom this is very embarrassing are you talking about sheetal yes where is sheetal <laughs> samira dr mathur what is this confusion i I told you. Uh, but I told you I wanted a simple girl. I said that specially. You've created a misunderstanding even before the two families have got together. How am I going to face those please, girls? Listen, let's uh, sit down and talk, please, ma'am. Please, ma'am, please. Uh, please. Have a seat. Please, please. I'm really upset. Listen to me. Uh, but, ma'am, Samira is my elder daughter, and ideally, she should get married first. Ma'am, that's why this confusion happened. See I also felt that Samira is the elder one and her lifestyle is so similar to your lifestyle. Samira is a lovely girl no doubt but in my mind Sheetal is the perfect wife for Arvind. In fact she's the perfect Grah Lakshmi. Anyway uh where is Sheetal? She's at the meditation center. She'll be here any minute. Sheetal we were waiting for you. Namaste auntie. Here she comes. I'm so sorry I'm late. Here, take some prasad. Yes, have some. Thank you. Hi, Hi. thank you. Auntie, you also take. Mom, is anything wrong? Sheetal, where is Samma? Sheetal, come with me. Come. You go with her. What's her. happening? Let me tell you what has happened. Ma'am. Yes, come. I'm really very sorry. There was some misunderstanding. She's in her room. Sheetal, dear. Samaira is very hurt. You take care of her. Only you can comfort her right now. <laughs> Samira, you already knew this, right? What are you saying, Samira? How will I know all of this? Don't try to act innocent, okay? Since childhood, you have been taking away everything from me. But today, you have crossed all the limits. Okay, Samira, calm down. Whatever that you're thinking right now, it's completely wrong. There's nothing like that. One second, have some water. Why water? Get poison for me. Listen, I really didn't know anything. Auntie just told me everything. But now that you know it, 
go get married to him after all you like all this right it's not about like or dislike the proposal that came for you cannot be meant for me and why would i accept it so you don't want to get married go and say no to them go go No Sheetal this is Auntie, not the I right really time have to talk no to dear you. child she's very hurt right now but you're sensible right don't do anything foolish Arvind let's go Lost auntie, <laughs> I guess she's too shocked to react. <laughs> auntie, the twist in the tale is yet to come. <laughs> oh my God, so much happened! I can't believe it. Mm. Go on, what happened after that? Auntie, this girl, she actually went ahead and rejected the proposal. Actually, Sheetal was their choice, but she rejected life of abundance. and well you only tell me auntie how could i accept a proposal which was meant for samaira finally they left and everything was over but you know that multi millionaire family could not believe at all that a middle class girl can reject their proposal for the first time in their lives they were shocked then what both mother and son decided that their grah lakshmi would be sheetal only no matter what they made a wise choice Look Samira you really need to act like an elder sister now make her understand convince her somehow this is a big proposal they themselves have made so many efforts please understand dear Sheetal My life has become hell because of you. Please accept Arvind's proposal and release me from this guilt. Okay. But I have two conditions. First, you come with me for meditation tomorrow. And second,
फॉर मी यू हैव टू गेट मैरिड ओके ओके आत्मा में प्रकाश भरो जो बिखरे हैं चित्त एकत्रित करो सोई आत्मा में प्रकाश भरो जो बिखरे हैं चित्त एकत्रित करो तभी दूर होंगे अंधेरे तभी दूर होंगे अंधेरे रोशनी में तेरी जागो कुंडलिनी माँ जागो कुंडलिनी माँ करो सब पे कृपा इट इज बॉर्न विद यू एंड ऑल ऑफ अस हैव अ बर्थ राइट टू गेट दिस स्पॉन्टेनियस योगा that is the union with the divine we must reach that state of awareness where we become aware of a higher seeking within us if you have to sprout a seed you just put it in the mother earth and the seed has a capacity to become the plant and the mother earth has a capacity to sprout it in the same way this happening has to take place today that time has come that time has come the time of judgment has come and at this time we have to see that we'll be judging ourselves but not by some sort of a weight or some sort of an authority but by something which is within us which we call as the kundalini is placed in the triangular bone called as sacrum and she is reflected within us as the kundalini in our heart is reflected the god almighty it is he who is the witness of whatever we are doing this power manifests everything within us and then resides in a sleeping state in that triangular bone and is said to be residual because it has not yet manifested itself this is the power of our desire which is true and the only desire we have which is pure when you get your realization when the kundalini comes up and she touches the seat of god here immediately in your heart the reflection of god starts emitting cool vibrations from your hands on when it starts happening you are amazed that all around you you feel the subtle power of god the power of islam what we call the all pervading brahma what we call the chaitanya that's how you start feeling it तेरे सांसों की जब एक लड़े सुख मन मेरी को भर देगी तब दे मेरा बांसुरी बने सब राग मधुर स्वर में बजे स्वर में बजे एंड <laughs> How did he come into Samira's life? Mm-hmm. And how did you agree to his proposal? She tell you say. <laughs> Should I? Yeah. <laughs> so auntie, this happened the very next day. Teri anguriya hai sparsh kar छिद्रों को जो चक्र भय ऐसी तेरी धुन है बह जाए हर नस झंकार से भर जाए हर गीत मिले 
हर ले में तू मैं खुद को भूला जाता हूँ अब जी तो मेरा ये चाहता है अब जी तो मेरा ये चाहता है तेरे प्यार की सरगम बन जाऊं तेरे सांसों की जब एक लड़ी सुख मन मेरी को भर देगी Our marriage is stuck because of you. How many more guys will you reject? Look, even I want my Mister Right. How can I get married to anyone? Hmm. Don't listen to him. He just says anything. You know my mom. She looks for a reason to celebrate, and because of you, her biggest celebration is held up. Dude, this is just a start, okay? You are going to be properly punished. Hey, how much more? You have already sentenced us for six months. A little more. Little more. Little more. Agreed to marry that unemployed NGO fellow out of pressure, is it? Uh, uh, no, Auntie. There is something else entirely. Why is he some underworld con <laughs> or into child trafficking? Oh, poor oh, Sheetal. Your girls are gossiping here, and everyone is waiting out there. Oh, come yeah. on, let's go. We're let's coming. Go. No, you can't leave like this. I want to know the entire story. Sheetal will take ten minutes to reach there. Oh, come on, oh, let's, girls, go. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Come on, come on, Auntie. Oh, let's go. ब्रदर They are coming. coming. Okay. Yes, Auntie. Okay. So this is how things are going. And boys, okay. should I get something for you? No, no I don't need. We are not need. Where are the girls? Yeah, yeah. Yes, Mr. Nath, have you called the children? Please check where are they. I have sent Magda to call them. Oh, here they come. Wow, I never knew she could look so stunning. Samira is the only girl who liked me without knowing my identity. Excuse me. Thank you, Auntie. I have an announcement to make. Come on. Navneet asked me not to say, but I can't hide it anymore. He was my senior in college. We were in the same university in America. He belongs to a very well-known business family from London. Well he hated the high life and wanted to do something for the society. That's why he came to India. And I guess it was in his destiny to meet Samira. <laughs> Sister you didn't tell me? Actually Sheetal told me about Navneet yesterday only and made me promise to keep it a oh, secret. Congrats. Listen Mukda, come here. 
You are such a sweetheart. You'll also Thank find you, a perfect match very soon. <laughs> Come Listen, on, Auntie. Da, change the life of my girls too. I'll sponsor your trip to London. Just start practicing Sahaj meditation. Then see the magic. But won't we have to come to India for that? Sahaj meditation has centers all across the world. You don't need to come to India for that. But isn't that very expensive? No, Sahaj meditation is absolutely free. Really, it's free? Yes, absolutely free. Wow. Congratulations, dear sister. Congratulations, brother. तेरे सांसों की जब एक लड़े सुख मन मेरी को भर देगी तेरे सांसों की जब एक लड़े सुख मन मेरी को भर देगी principal has to subdue the hatred between the children between the husband and the children she is the source of that peace which subdues hatred to smooth smooth out all angularities of people which creates friction the basic principle of a gralakshmi is to respect her chastity the housewife has to know that she is not docile she is obedient to her own righteousness to her own virtues to her own qualities she has not to be dominating she has to remove the dominating forces of others she is the source of peace she is the source of joy and she is the peacemaker teri anguriya hai स्पर्श कर छिद्रों को जो चक्र भय ऐसी तेरी धुन है बह जाए हर नस झंकार से भर जाए हर गीत मिले हर ले में तू मैं खुद को भूला जाता हूँ अब जी तो मेरा ये चाहता है अब जी तो मेरा ये चाहता है तेरे प्यार की सरगम बन जाऊं तेरे सांसों की जब एक लड़ी सुख मन मेरी को भर देगी तब दे मेरा बासुरी बने सब राग मधुर स्वर में बजे स्वर में बजे सब राग मधुर स्वर में बजे स्वर में बजे द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एवोल्यूशन इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज द most important time because we here where you will get what heaven has been promised to you it is born with you the right to become united which is the yoga with the divine we have two sides in our system of autonomous nervous system left and right which we call as left and right sympathetic nervous system the left side caters for our 
emotions, for our past, our desires. The right side caters for our action, physical and mental. If you indulge into one too much and go too far with it, you develop an imbalance within yourself. This is the left side, this is the right side. So this is the left sympathetic nervous system, say, and this is the right sympathetic nervous system. And really, spinal cord looks like this. And inside here is the spinal cord, which has the centers in it, the subtle centers. Now, when you start using the energy of these centers, say too much on the right, and it starts moving more towards the right, and there's a constriction. And the power becomes less because you are exhausting. Going more towards the right side, suddenly something happens, and from the left, if there's a jerk, then the connection is completely broken. In the center lies the third power, which we call as parasympathetic nervous system. This is the channel, which is the central path of ascent. When the Kundalini rises through it, it brings you in the balance because it rises in the center of the system. There are so many diseases which are more psychosomatic than physical. And these, we call them as incurable, can be easily cured by Kundalini awakening because when Kundalini passes through this, she just integrates them just like she strings them, and also she nourishes that center. That's how people get cured, automatically, by themselves, by their own power. This is the last breakthrough of our evolution, where you have to get connected with the divine, you have to feel it on your central nervous system, and that's how you get your self-realization. <laughs> आसमां जागो कुंडलिनी माँ करो सबे कृपा। At the very outset, we have to understand not to feel guilty at all about anything whatsoever, because you forget your past. Not to feel guilty. You are not to say that you have done this wrong, that wrong, not to count any mistakes. After all, you are human beings, and only human beings can make mistakes. You are not God. So there's nothing to condemn yourself for anything, because now if you have to enter into the kingdom of God, why should you condemn yourself? You should be in a very pleasant mood towards yourself, very pleasantly placed and know that you are a human being and a little journey has to be done. It's very simple. I really tell you, it's very simple. So do not go into any depression, or some people also feel all the time, will I get it or not? You will all get it, I tell you. I verily say, you will all get it. But don't be diffident about it. With this, let us start now. I'll tell you, you put your left hand towards me like this, to begin with, later on we'll go into a real awakening, but just now I'll tell you how to do it. Left hand towards me, <coughs> symbolically you are expressing your desire that you want to have your Self-realization. Then your right hand, you put it on your heart, which is a center where resides the Spirit. In human beings, it resides in the heart. So first we put it in the heart, then we put our hand on the upper part of our abdomen, on the left-hand side. We work out everything on the left-hand side. Now here is the center of your mastery, which is created by all the prophets and all the masters for us. So <clears throat> here you place it in the upper part of your abdomen, on the left-hand side. Then you place it in the lower part of your abdomen, in the lower part of your abdomen on the left-hand side, this is a very important center, because this is the center which manifests true knowledge on your nervous system. So this is also a very important center. Then you raise your Kundalini by putting your hand on, again, on the center of the Master, that is the upper part of your abdomen on the left-hand side. 
press it hard. Now, then you press again your hand on your heart. Now, you take your hand and put it in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and turn your head to your right. This is the center you catch when you feel guilty, you feel diffident and you try to debase yourself. This is the center you catch. So you put your hand to your right, your, your hand on the left side, but your head to your right. Now, stretch your hand and put the center of your palm on, I'm sorry, then you have to put your hand on the forehead, across. Now this is the center and bend your head where you have to ask for forgiveness for others. Means you have to say, I forgive everyone. Now, some will say that is very difficult to forgive, but whether you forgive or you don't forgive, it's a myth. So, if you don't forgive, then you play into wrong hands. So better is to forgive. I find it's very difficult for people to forgive others, even to say that. And then when they come to me, I find they have not forgiven and they have not felt the vibration. So from your heart you have to forgive when I tell you. Now put your hand on the back side of your head and push back your head on it. Here you have to ask for forgiveness from Divine without counting your mistakes, without feeling guilty, just for your satisfaction. Now you have to stretch your hand and put the center of your palm on top of your head, bending your head just here where there's a fontanelle bone area, which was a soft bone in your childhood. So put your right hand on top of that and press it hard, pushing back your fingers and move your scalp clockwise, slowly, seven times you have to move, but that I'll tell you later on after you close your eyes. Just now you move it seven times. Now you may have to close your eyes. So now please, please close your eyes. Put your right hand on your heart, left hand towards me. Here you have to ask a very important question three times to me in your heart as you ask a computer. You have to ask a question. You can call me Sri Mataji or you can call me Mother. Mother, am I the Spirit? Mother, am I the Spirit? Ask this question three times. Please keep your eyes shut. Now, if you are the Spirit, you are your guide, you are your guru. So now, please take down this right hand on the upper portion of your abdomen, on the left hand side. And here you ask me another question in your heart with full confidence. Mother, am I my own master? Mother, am I my own master? Ask this question three times. Now take down your right hand in the lower portion of your abdomen. Here is the center of pure knowledge. And 
as I told you, it cannot be forced on you. I respect your freedom. So here you have to say six times in your heart, because this center has got six petals. You have to say, Mother, please give me pure knowledge. I cannot force it on you, six times. As soon as you start saying this, the Kundalini starts rising. And now we have to nourish our centers, upper centers, with our self confidence. So now raise your right hand onto the upper portion of your abdomen on the left hand side. And here you have to say with full confidence in yourself to open this center, Mother, I am my own master. Say it ten times, please. Mother, I am my own master. Say it with full confidence. Now the greatest truth about you is that you are not this body, you are not this mind, you are not these emotions, nor you are this ego or these thoughts, but you are pure spirit. This is the greatest truth. So now raise your right hand to your heart and say with full confidence, with full confidence you have to say, Mother, I am the Spirit. Say it twelve times, please. Mother, I am the Spirit, twelve times, with full confidence. Now, I have already told you that you need not have guilt. The all-pervading power is the ocean of love and bliss. It is the ocean of knowledge and joy. But above all, it is the ocean of forgiveness. So you cannot commit any mistakes that cannot be dissolved by the power of this great ocean of forgiveness. So now raise your right hand in the corner of your neck and your shoulder and place it behind as much as possible from the front side, not from the back side, but from the front side. And turn your head towards right. Here you have to say, Again, with full confidence, sixteen times, because there are sixteen petals to this. Mother, I am not guilty at all. As I have told you that we have to forgive everyone and many people think that it's difficult to forgive. Whether you forgive or don't forgive, you don't do anything, but we are not to play into wrong hands by not forgiving, which is a myth, absolute myth. So now raise your right hand and put it on your forehead across, bend your head fully and press it hard and hear from your heart, say, Mother, I forgive everyone. You don't have to think how many people you have to forgive, whom you have to forgive, for what you have to forgive, but just say, Mother, I forgive everyone from your heart, not how many times, 
It has to come from your heart. This is very important. If you don't forgive, the Kundalini won't just pass through. This is the very important center of Agya, which is a very constricted one normally. So please say it from your heart, Mother, I forgive everyone. Don't say, I can't. Please don't say that. Now, take your hand on the back side of your head and push back your head on it as far as you could take it. Let it rest on your hand. Here you have to ask for forgiveness from Divine, but you are not to think of the mistakes you have committed or whatever wrongs you have done or to count them or to think of the people. But just in general, for your own satisfaction, you have to say, without feeling guilty, from your heart, not how many times, O oh Divine, please forgive me if I have done, knowingly or unknowingly, anything wrong. Now, stretch your hand, stretch your palm. Now put your hand or your palm, the center of your palm, on top of the fontanel bone area. And now stretch your fingers backwards. This is very important. Stretch them as much as you can so that there's a nice pressure on your fontanel bone area and you have to move it, the scalp, seven times clockwise, very, very slowly. But here again I cannot cross over your freedom. You have to ask for Self-realization. So please say seven times, Mother, please give me Self-realization. Please ask for it seven times when you are moving your hand slowly seven times. Now please take down your hands and open your eyes. You can put on your glasses if you want. Now put your right hand towards me now like this, little lifted up, and bend your head and see for yourself with the left hand on top of the fontanel bone. See for yourself bending your head. To see for yourself if there's a cool breeze coming out of your fontanel bone area. You can lift the hand a little higher, sometimes it can be much higher, but don't touch your, your head, it should be above at least three to four inches minimum to begin with, and then you'll feel the cool breeze. Just move your hand, bend your head is the best way. Now put the left hand towards me, like this, and now bend your head and see with your right hand if there's a cool breeze coming out of your fontanel bone area. There could be hot air also coming, doesn't matter. Don't doubt it. <coughs> Don't think it's air conditioning after all. <laughs> uh, it cannot be coming out of your head, isn't it? Now again put the right hand towards me. Keep your head bent and also now see for yourself 
if you can feel the cool breeze coming out of your head with the left hand. Now, you can lift your both the hands towards this roof like this and bend back your head. And here you have to ask a question three times. Mother, is this the cool breeze of the Holy Ghost? Mother, is this the Ruh? Mother, is this the Parama Chaitanya? Mother, is this the all-pervading power of God's love? Ask any one of these questions three times. Now put down your hands and just watch me without thinking, you can do it. Now those who have felt the cool breeze out of their fontanel boat or on their fingers, fingertips, even hot air is all right, please raise both your hands. हर दिल में तेरा ही गान बसे तेरी धुन में मगन हर जीव रसे हर जीव रसे बेहोश नहीं ये गौरव है रोशन चैतन की गुंजन है जब मस्त हुए तो क्या कहने जब मस्त हुए तो क्या कहने मेरी शक्ति ही मधु पूजन है तेरे सांसों की जब एक लड़ी सुख मन मेरी को भर देगी आनंद की इन बौछारों में तेरी पावनता के दीप जले इतना रोशन मुझे करते चले दिल के भीतर कई राग छिड़े हर राग में नव इंसान जगे ऐसा मंथन रस रूप धरे सब गण हर कण तेरी रास रचे सब गण हर कण तेरी रास रचे तब जीवन स्वर्ग का धाम बने